Welcome everyone to this new video which is about SCADA. Today we are simply going to talk about generation, transmission and distribution of electrical power. For you to understand how it works, I'm going to show you and give you some definitions so that the transmission system will be clear for you. You are going to understand how power is generated from a far place and you get this exact amount of voltage or this exact power you need to energize any of your electrical device or your electrical machines but before we start the video please make sure you like if you like you like the video if you really do then you subscribe to this channel and if you want your friends or your family to enjoy the video as well you can share it in your facebook account or your instagram account who will be glad and is going to help us to make this channel moving forward so let's start now in this diagram you can clearly see that we are using a nuclear power plant and nuclear power plant generate 161 volts <clears throat> let's have a look at the type of primary energy we have we have mechanical energy we have thermal energy we have nuclear energy this is the energy source that we use for this video we have chemical energy electromagnetic energy sonic energy or this type of energy that you can see but most of the most common in a primary energy source, the source that we have is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy has many advantages. One of the disadvantages is that it's kind of risky. It's risky. It's kind of hard for uh, engineers to maintain the safety aspect of the nuclear energy plant. We also have hydraulic energy. Hydraulic energy is the energy source which is commonly used in Africa. In Africa, we have only hydraulic energy. Solar energy is not used at power plant level and wind energy too is not used at power plant level. So, nuclear energy is used in USA, China and Europe. Hydropower energy is used in Africa and then thermal, solar and wind energy are used but not at uh, power plant level. They are used to energize only some small areas or houses and for agriculture. They cannot be used to energize a whole city or a whole country. So we have two types of energy. We have non-renewable energy, which is, a, which is a source of energy which limited supply that can be mined of extracted from the earth. Simply non-renewable energy is an energy source which cannot be renewable. Sorry for saying it as simple as it looks. But renewable energy cannot be used again and again. It's a type of energy which, which is going to end. You are going to use it for a while and then you will be needed to look for another type of energy source or it's going to finish. That's, that's, that's the disadvantage of this energy and it, it has, it makes all also uh, pollution. This is one of the disadvantages of non-renewable energy. We also have re renewable energy. It is an energy from source that is depleted when used such as solar and wine. We use solar and wine to use renewable energy because we all agree that solar, the solar or the sun is a constant energy source. Apart from when the night falls, you can always have access to this energy. It cannot be depleted. That's the difference between renewable and renewable energy. One is depleted and the other one cannot be depleted. So let's go back to our diagram. So I was saying that you we generate 161 kilovolts from a nuclear power plant. Then we quickly move to transmission substation. This is the transformer used in this transmission substation. 
when we have this 161 volt we send it to the transformer the transformer is going to step it up to 5 let me say 5k volt from 161k volt to 500k volt and then through on on the ground system the starting from here we have the transmission system this is exactly the generation system once the power leaves the power plant and we move to it moves to the transmission substation which has a delta delta connection see the delta delta connection this is primary side or primary core it has a delta connection and then the secondary output also has a data connection that's why we say data data connections step up transformer have a look at the input voltage and the output voltage 161k and 500k so true on on the ground system we transmit it through transmission tower transmission tower are here and then which is on top here we have lightning wire lightning wire is like a grounding a head in case of thunder it's going to discharge the exceeded voltage to the ground again it sends this the 500 k volt from the transmission tower to the secondary distribution substation this substation these substations are located in towns in towns so we have primary core because of the resistance of the cable we experience losses we experience losses this 500 you know that the voltage has resistance and also the distance of transmission is going to give a deep reduction of the amount of voltage from 500 to 300 to from 500 k volt to 30 k volt because from here from the generation power plant to the town the transmission distance is really far it cannot be calculated it's not a constant but depending of the country is really far that's why we experience a lot a lot of loss like this so let's have a look at this transformer which is secondary distribution substation it also has a data data connection if you have a primary core it, it is data secondary core it's data connection here is the secondary distribution substation data data connection and step down transformer so we receive the 30k volt we step it down to 11k volt because we are not in town and the transmission is not going to be long anymore so we can now have this 11k volt this system have a look at these two transformers if you check if you check here if this one if this one fails to transmit power if this one is off you see that the power is still going to flow is not going to flow like this this one will be off but if this one is off too you see that it's not going to have any power here so let me remind you or let me give you this idea that we don't use these transformers at the same time this one may, may be the transformer one from the substation and this one is transformer two this one is just a backup of this transformer and this system is made such a way that we no need to reorganize or, or reorganize or rewire the whole system we are simply going to switch take this one this 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 switch off and on this one so that power will flow will flow here so we we'll use systems like electrical interlock with conductors and all that so that the two systems are not working at the same time let me remind you that this one is a backup of this one so before we move okay let's move here now we are we are at distribution transformer step down it is part of the full package transformer let, let, let's go back to 
two our pictures. So summary definition. What is a transformer? Transformer is an electromechanical device used to either step up or step down voltage. This one is transformer. This one is transformer system used at generation. This one is the one used at transmission, and then this one is the one used at distribution level. These are the small transformers that you can see in town. So let, let's go back to our diagram. From our diagram, this is the distribution transformer step down, but it has a delta star connection. Let's have let's let's see the difference between star star connection and star delta connection. Here we have delta delta connection right and then here we have delta connection but the secondary side of the core it's star connection as you can see here we were having only three wires let me see red blue and yellow and now we have we move from three wires to four wires so starting from here we'll not pick the neutral wire we now have red blue yellow and the neutral and the black the black why do we use why do we pick the black only at the distribution level because it will be expensive to draw or it will be very expensive to draw the neutral wire from the nuclear power plant to your house it's not used it's not needed it's not useful because engineering has come <coughs> with delta 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 connection so we start using the neutral wire from here and then this is these are the fuse fuse uh, simply safety, safety device in case of overload the fuse is going to blow and off the power from one of the faces and here is the mccb mobile, mobile case circuit breaker let's it's it is shown in the picture this is it this is the mccb circuit breaker it's it's just a simple circuit breaker but it can it can allow a huge amount of current we call it mccb model case circuit breaker let's go back to our diagram now from, that, from the poles, these are electrical poles that are represented here. You see, we have this is the red, then the yellow, and then the blue, and then the one, the one under here is the black. It's the neutral, which has been from the middle of our start connection. Something I forgot to tell you is that the primary size receives 1k volts, and then we step it down to 240 volts. This is the amount of voltage that we use in our house. And then from here, we can quickly start the distribution. We start the distribution now. Let me show you how uh, companies, distribution companies are used to do so that we get power off. I just move to the MCCP side of the full package transformer. The full package transformer is made of the distribution transformer, the fuses, and the MCCP. The MCCP is part of the distribution board. So if I move to the distribution board and I take the MCCP off, I've taken it off. The houses are blinking. The houses are blinking because they don't receive power. Somebody has taken, one of our engineers has taken the MCCB off. It has cut the power, you see, the bridge. So houses are in the dark. Now, if I take it on, if I take it on now, you see, power has come back so that's all for this video i hope you you have enjoyed the video if you do please once again make sure before you leave this channel or before you leave this video make sure you like and you subscribe to our channel and i will ask you something a little more again i'll ask you to share this video so that your friends too or your family they have a fair idea of how power is generated from a nuclear power plant or 
from any type of power plant to your houses so that you customers can easily use power thank you again for watching this video i'll see you soon